Hey guys, what is going on? This is Madden Vinick, and I am back from Orlando, Florida. I was going there for the DECA Nationals competition. Our chapter took third place in the community service event. Anyways, probably most of you have no idea what I'm talking about. I am back now, I'm able to make videos, I got my recording equipment, and today the update came out. So we're gonna go ahead and review this. I know a bunch of other YouTubers already did a video, but I wanna go ahead and do something too. So anyways, let's get to it. So first of all, brand new defense. It is the air sweeper. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, quickly open up the news tab so you guys see this here. Um, Pretty much, it's a two by two building, just like a Tesla, and it pushes back flying enemies in a direction you point it. Um, it does no damage, but it's great for slowing down progress of air attacks. Air sweepers can only face one way, but can be rotated to a direction of your choosing. And it is unlocked at Town Hall level six, and it is gaining more strength when it is upgraded, of course. So you know what, let's go ahead and actually buy it. So let's go to our shop, defenses, and there it is. So Air Sweeper, I'm gonna go ahead and place it right there because I wanna protect my beautiful uh, Christmas tree right there. <laughs> I'll go ahead and place that one and I'm actually gonna go ahead and jam it right away because I'm so, so impatient today. So anyways, rotate button, obviously it rotates it very nice. 45 degrees at a time is what it seems like. Cool, we're just gonna keep it pointed at our Christmas tree for now. There we go. I'm um, gonna make sure we protect that. We're gonna leave it alone. Eh, actually, I lied. We're gonna take a look at it. So. Um, currently the push strength is a 1.6 tiles and hit points 750 so not too many hit points but um, the range is 15 tiles so it's a pretty good range targets air and its favorite target is any air sweepers control the sky with strong blasts of airs that push back flying enemies air sweepers can only face one direction so rotate them to maximize their effectiveness um, i'm thinking i'm gonna have to do some redesigning on this base in order to place it somewhere but i will find a spot for it anyways let's go ahead and move on to clan bookmarks so bookmark any clan you want to uh let's go ahead and open up our clan chat we got my clan i'm just gonna actually uh let's go ahead and go to top clans and bookmark a random clan just to demonstrate it so we got here whatever emirates emirates uh there's that little plus with the blue bookmark at the uh, top right you can go ahead and tap that and it is added to your bookmarks now to view your bookmarks i'm assuming you just go to your clan castle and bookmarks cool you have all your favorite clans here and you can do up to 30 clans is what it seems like um, next we have the clan war attack preview so if you are guys warring and it is battle day here at warriors um, and I'm not actually able to attack so I can demonstrate this but what pretty much happens is when you click attack it pops up a window with all the troops you currently have it shows you check marks if everything's maxed out and stuff is available very nice to see um, because now when you actually uh, hit attack you can no longer surrender and get out of it so once you hit attack you have to either wait out for the timer or attack so you got to make sure you um, have all your troops and everything but that's kind of cool uh, moving on we have some interface improvements it looks like you have a one-time name change at town hall 5 this will be very interesting please do not try to change your name to one of the popular youtubers names that's just gonna get really hectic with everything actually i don't care what you should do but uh, this account here is big and i am going to change it to either madden divinic or madden divinic 2 um, we'll see what we can do about that uh, but i won't mess around with it now and name change by the way is under your settings and change name right there you can enter any name you want. It doesn't really matter. Hit continue. Of course, I'm not going to do that now. I would hate myself if I actually click continue because that would be a one time change. Um, let's see what else. Defense ranges can now be seen even when the defense is under construction. So let's see. I don't actually have anything under construction. I wish I um, waited before I jumped the... Um, the what's it called now the air sweeper but um say defense is under construction pretty much it's going to show you the defensive range anyways uh defensive modes can now be changed even when the defense is under construction cool and defensive buildings now initially point away from the town hall in combat i don't have any replays here i don't think so uh but i think you know what do we have any clan war replays that we can take a look at we sure do so you know what let's go ahead and look at this one right here and as you guys see, um, the archer towers, the cannons, they're all pointing away from the town hall. The exbles are pointing away from the town hall. Warriors are pointing away. Everything's pointing away from the town hall. And that's what it pretty much means. So that's pretty cool. I mean, we always had the cannons rotate and point at the town hall. Why would you target your own town hall, right? Makes no sense. Um, now moving on to some gameplay improvements. 
attacking troops will not start chasing defending troops as far away as they used to. I think that's a major improvement, but I guess it's something about um, those who are um, very particular about their attacking styles. Next, we have a fixed, a very rare case when a defensive, uh, when a defense might target a troop at the edge and not fire. Okay, I haven't actually experienced that one. And loot values for many lower level single player maps have been improved along with some slight layout tweaks. Okay, so I mean, all of my um, single player campaigns are actually done, but um, I, I don't know. Let's see if. Well, I do see, the, so there's a lot of loot available for some of them. Um, I obviously can't really tell you guys how much it increased because I have not attacked a single player map in probably a year now. Um, moving on, we have some matchmaking tweaks. You are now more likely to find targets at or near your town hall level in multiplayer matching. So I guess it just um, not only looks at your trophy levels, but it also compares your town hall levels. I guess that's more useful for people who are in lower trophy levels. Um, and I guess town, town halls below town hall 10, because once you're at town hall 10 and you get close to 3000, it really doesn't matter who you get matched up to. Anyways, let's move on. We have the strength calculators have now been updated in Clan Wars matching to compensate for high level walls and heroes. Just a little bit more balancing in the Clan War matchmaking. And uh, this says already released in the 2XP Clan War event. Clan Wars matching now prefers to wait a bit longer to try and find a better match. So not a big deal. But that is it for this update, guys. I'm actually really excited to uh, go ahead and find a spot for the Air Sweeper uh, on my base. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see it in action in one of the next videos. But once again, guys, I'm excited to get back. Um, for those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, you should because that is where I post updates. Um, why I'm not uploading and when I'm uploading, what I'm uploading and just my um, sort of daily life. I promise I won't spam you guys. I barely post on Twitter, but I do post um, updates that are pretty important whenever uh, they are... Uh, need it. So anyways, guys, uh, make it a great Clash Team or not, the choice is always yours. Oh, and make sure you mention what the best part about this update is down in the comments, and I am out.